right, so here's the longtime strike force now UFC veteran Bobby King Green. He actually changed his name on his birth certificate officially to King Green, which I guess is neither here nor there. But I think a lot of people, especially his fellow fighters, are really happy to see Bobby Green realize this type of success at this stage of his career. Of course, 2023, huge year for him. UFC main events, back-to-back -back bonuses against Tony Ferguson and Grant Dawson. And he believes tonight his boxing's going to be too slick. He's going to be too fast on the feet for this particular opponent. Only time will tell, but at least on paper, Green feels like he has a lot of advantages in this stylistic matchup tonight. shows about the best boxer in the UFC. Start talking Holloway, Masvidal, Mahovic. This guy is along the lines of that in regards to how he implements that skill inside the octagon. He goes out there, fights behind a beautiful jab, and he sets everything up perfectly with the hands. And that is why we see him securing so many knockouts inside the UFC's octagon. Yeah, had a lot of knockouts as an amateur, not just in MMA, but in boxing as well. And just wearing those tiny four-ounce gloves here tonight. We'll see if he can add to that total. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Third round in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bobby King Green. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herb Dean, our referee ready, for this ready. one. Ready. Good. All right, here's Bobby King Green ready to go for round one. It's going to be very interesting to see how this first round plays out. At times, Green has started slowly. At other times, he has come out guns blazing. James Krause can certainly attest to that. Of course, he was knocked out by that vicious body kick back in 2013. Bobby Green ready to go here early round one. Fighting behind a nice jab. <laughs> the Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Uppercut there, that one's gonna leave him up. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're gonna look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Greens and half guard. Right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, right into Mount. He's got to be careful here. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, big elbow. Oh, 
And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Put your hands on fire. Come on. Green gets tattooed by that straight punch. Another good stick to the head. Another shot to the head. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Oh, there's that kick. And it lands. Able to check that kick as well. Nice jab by Green. And there's a takedown attempt. Two minutes to go in the round. Big part of the plan. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Able to land the left hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, straight punch. Well, a lot of sting behind these kicks. Solid leg kicks here by Choi. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Right back to the focus. That strike blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Overhand. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Very fast jab, Lance. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Green's now dealing with a cheek cut. Just missed with the left there. Nice body kick there. Takedown defense holds up. Got to separate from the clinch now. Final seconds here. Nice block. Five, Second round, five, straight five, ahead. Five, five. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Green. Lands a nice straight. Green gets hit by that leg kick. Uh, he might be a one-eyed fighter before too long. That right eye starting to shut. Oh, nice. Effective strike there by Green. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, hook shot blocked there by the Korean Super Bowl. And they 
separate after exiting the clinch. Nice jab by Green. Let's go. He's to be first now. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively this time. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You got to address this now because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you off the hook. You've got to move. You've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Jab snaps the head back. Beautiful body kick. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Green gets caught by that straight hand. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking flip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. I need more strikes. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. Under a minute now to go. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Spot. All right, well, that like blow that. is fossiting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Changing the position. There it is. Now he's going to bump. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. No, no. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes right, in that right. round. No Back kick. to the stool. No cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round. And maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek while it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's gonna have to move his head here. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, let's go. Get that 
Well, he was able to block that one. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Choi's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. Shot is blocked. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Green's eye does not look real good right now. It actually is starting to swell shut. So that will be something that bears watching as this fight continues. Clean with the right hook. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Right hand good on the counter. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, uppercut to the dome. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. That kick lands. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. You gotta keep your hands up for me now. Just missed with the leg kick. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Oh! Oh, got to keep pressing here. Oh, that's big. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Oh, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't... Oh, he hit him again, bro. Seconds remain in the round. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Green's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Choi. But that punch, no good. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Green going for the takedown here. Nothing doing that. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. 
You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. And, man, these guys still look fresh as if they haven't even started fighting tonight. Pretty impressive. Both of them have a huge reputation for being fit fighters. And it shows in the way they're approaching round number two. Green's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big punch lands through the middle. Huge block there. Oh, nice counter, yes. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Green gets hit with a flush uppercut there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps... Oh! Going down. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, nice. Beautiful collar tie. He's got him in place. Green's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Short. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's... Oh, he's doing it. Right into side control. Choice in half goal. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Green. All right, so the damage continues to be doled out, and I think a lot of fans watching at home would probably like to see the referee call on the fight. And, and that's very rare, because fight fans want to see violence. But right now, you have seen enough. This guy is beat, this guy is battered. He doesn't have much more. He has not done the right things to allow for himself to win this fight. You need to fight back. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to stop it. The ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Green's back in full mount. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. The ground strike starting to pile up. Now he's got good body position, yup. Good work from the top here by Green. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Oh, nice, nice. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more... Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. I need you to fight back. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered tonight. Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though, though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. What a round. Well, 
what a war of attrition this fight has been. Both fighters dealing with cuts, critical damage in the facial area. Something's got to give at some point. Yeah, these are the types of fights that we love. These guys are leaking everywhere. They're both trying to finish this fight. They're very evenly matched, and you can see it in the competition, but you can also see it in the damage that they're both showing. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. And back to his feet. Oh, back and forth we go. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take. Never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage to him. Yeah, John, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. They are in each other's face. They are really showing you what type of heart you need in order to be a fighter. What a performance by both. Very rarely do you gain in losing. But whoever loses this fight will be able to leave this octagon with their head held high. Green's cheek is just fauceting blood all over his face, all over the canvas. Like, where's the ringside physician? Maybe time to call on the doctor. I don't know. up clearly he wanted this fight back to its feet despite having a dominant position on the ground oh swelling and blood you wonder if it's some oh he's in do oh joy with one of the greatest knockouts you will see <laughs> oh man official decision is in here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started. Now let's see just how far he can take it. But tonight, 